Hi everyone and welcome to this video. So today we'll be looking at the micrometer screw gauge, how to read measurements on the micrometer screw gauge. So this is just an instrument that is used to measure um, mainly um, a, a distance or a precise distance around the diameter, a thickness of something and other solid bodies of course which are this something which are something which is very small uh, for example maybe a pen just something small that can be measured that cannot be easily measured by a ruler or something like that so i'm just showing the parts of the scales i'm not showing the full micrometer screw gauge i'm just showing the part of the scales so there are two types of scales there's what is known as the main scale as well as the thimble so this is our main scale here then this is our thimble main scale thimble just like that so I'll show you how to read measurements on these instruments. I think I have about six examples. I hope by the time by the time we're done with these six examples, you'll be able to read measurements uh, carefully and correctly. So as soon as you understand in the first or second example, before you see what answer I'm about to present, try to pause the video, then try to weigh it out on your own so that you just come and compare the two answers to see if you're also um, got in the concept. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. So firstly, it's important to note that measurements under the micrometer screw gauge are measured under or rather using millimeters. So we first start by measuring the main scale. Now, there are two things that you need to clear carefully take note of. You have a reading, for example, uh, maybe you have 13, this is just an example, 0.4, uh, maybe 7. You should note that the values before the decimal point are usually obtained from the main scale then the values after the decimal point are measured from the thimble or obtained from the thimble so i'll be doing it separately then add them together i'm sure that way you know, it, will, it will make sense okay so from the main scale if you look at what you have in the main scale we have measurements going from 0 5 10 15 so uh, it's clear enough that uh, if this is 15, then this is 14, uh, sorry, sorry, this is 16, 17, 18, 19. So at this same point, the last dot that we have here, which is 19, then we can say on the main scale, the reading is 19.0. Just leave it as 19.00. Then from there, we shall go to the thimble scale. So on the thimble scale, um, we should look for the point where this line coming from the main scale is in line with whatever measurement that we have here. So the measurement is in line with this, this one here. So if this is 10, this is 15, then this is 11, this is 12, uh, 13, 14, 15. So this is 10, 11, 12. So the reading is 0. Point one two remember what i said uh, what you have here is for the main scale what you have here is for the thimble scale so the line in uh, the line in, which is in the same line coming from the main scale is what we get here which is uh, 0 0.12 then what you do is just add these two values then you have 19.12 as the reading on this uh micrometer screw gauge okay Let's use the same concept here. So if we're counting on the main scale, we have a zero, we have a five, meaning that this is a six, this is seven, this is eight. Now, it's important to note that uh, below the main scale, we have these other the readings here. So half of this reading gives us a 0 0.5. What I mean by that is, if this is five and this is six, then this one here is representing 5.5. .5. So now, since I have my 5, then 6, this is 6.5, 7, 7.5, 8, 8.5, because it's the last, uh, last line in the measure of the main scale. So I have, let me go through it again, 5, 5.5, 6, 6.5, 7, 7.5, 8, then this is 8.5. So main scale reading, 8.5. Let's go to the thimble. I have a 20 here, 25. So this is 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So since this line is the one which is the same line coming from the main scale, then it will be 21, 22, 23. 
so I have 0 0.23 like that then I have to add these two so this is something this is usually a common mistake that uh, most students make when measuring in such kind of a case so the reading is 8.73 uh, let me go through it again if you have a dot like this one do not count this one as as uh, 8.0 because this one is 8 point is 19.0 because we don't have readings at the bottom but since this one we have readings at the bottom and we see that we have even passed the 8.5 mark then the reading on the main scale will be 8.5 plus the reading on the thimble which is this thing just add the two then you get uh, that particular answer okay let's look at other examples Okay, so shall we use the same concept? So this one does not have a reading down there, so we can just go with it straight forward. So this is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So main scale, we just say 12.00. Then let's go to the thimble. So in the thimble scale, we have 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So this line from the main scale is in a straight line with a 0.29. So you simply say, 0 0.29 then our final reading if we add the two will be 12.29 millimeters sorry i forgot to put the units in the previous two examples but we said that they're measured in millimeters okay if we come to this one we have eight nine uh, sorry seven eight nine so now if you look at this one if this is seven then what is this measure that we have here so if this is 7, this cannot be 7.1. This will be 7.2, 7.4, 7.6, 7.8, then we have 8. So now what we have here is 8, 8.2, 8.4, 8.6, 8.8, then 9. So this will be 9.2, 9.4. So main scale, 9.4. Let's go to the thimble. In the thimble scale, it is in the same line with this line here that we have. Let me just write it like this so that you see this line. So whatever you have in the same line as the main scale is what you get as the reading. So what you have there is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, of course, as you go there. So we have a 12. So we say 0 0.12. Like that. So you have to be very careful. Don't forget the point. Remember that in the thimble, we put a point while in the main scale, we take it as it is. So, if we add the two values, we're going to get 9.52. So, adding the two, we'll get 9. Point, is this correct? Yes, 9.52. Okay. Let's go to the next one. So... This one does not have any values, it just has zero. So if it just has a zero, just assume this is one, two, three. So I can just say, no, these are millimeters. We're getting the units. So this is one, two, three, like that. Now, if you look very carefully, this is 0 0.5, this is 1.5, this is 2.5, this is 3.5. So the reading is not three, but 3.5 because uh, it has passed uh, uh, this line here. So 3.5 main scale, thimble is directly at 20. So we can simply say 0 0.20. Then this will give us 3.70 millimeters. Like that. Okay, so uh, there are some key things that you need to take note of that are very important in this case. And that is understanding how these values are moving. If it has passed half here, you get a 0.5. Then you proceed with whatever is remaining there. Then from there, on the thimble, make sure you get uh, whatever is in straight line with this line which is coming from the main scale. Then you have the correct reading. Okay, let's look at our last example. So what we have here is uh, we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, like that now. If this is 5, then this here is 5.5. If this is 6, this is 
this is 7 and yeah, this is 7.5 so 7.5 main scale if we go in the thimble no i didn't have values in this thimble of mine okay so it's supposed to be 10 here there are 15 there are 20 there are 5 there are something like that okay so what is in straight line with the thimble here in the thimble rather is uh, 11 so we simply say we add this 0 0.11 like that so now adding those two main scale plus thimble will give us our actual reading which is um 7.61 so adding the two we get 7.61 millimeters okay i hope it makes sense in case you have a question please feel free to drop into the comments then i'll be able to respond thank you very much please do consider subscribing for more videos like this one enjoy your day